Owen, can you sum up what this game means to you and means to English cricket? Um, it, it means a huge amount to me and to everybody in the change room. Uh, it's a culmination of four years of hard work, dedication, a lot of planning, and it presents a huge opportunity to, to go and try and win a World Cup. Uh, I think for everybody around the country, the support we've had throughout has been unquestionable. And that's, as a team, that is, you know, it makes you feel extremely lucky to be part of a team that has that sort of support. I think it presents another opportunity for both teams and the ICC to, to sell the game on a huge platform. Um, you know, two very strong sides, hopefully produce a really good game of cricket. Um, it's on terrestrial television around the country and obviously various outlets online, but it presents a huge opportunity for us to sell this great game. Oh, and you, you've effectively been playing knockout cricket since the, the game against India. Has that helped you sort of hone your approach and mindset going into tomorrow's game? Yeah, I, I think it's actually, it has helped us because it's lent itself to, to actually being more positive and aggressive and, and a bit smarter about how we play. And it's sort of been a last chance saloon since Durham, which has been nice in a way. Well, oh, and, um, <laughs> There was a nice little reunion out there just then with you and Brendan. Uh, what did you just have a chat about? And is there a kind of nice symmetry, I guess, in the fact that it is you and New Zealand after they were so influential in, in this whole rejuvenation? Yeah, um, we just caught up outside. Um, Brendan's obviously a very good friend of mine. He, he spoke about us making the final and playing New Zealand because he had to fly home for the semi-final, but he was flying back if New Zealand made it. So. Um, he's delighted that they did, and um, yeah, he's, he's in good form. We're at the back of the room. Great. Owen, oh, what are the weaknesses in Kane Williamson's game? Uh, he's backing up, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Chris at the front here. <clears throat> Sorry. I was actually going to ask you about Brendan McCullum as well, but um, I just want to know how much of an inspiration and how integral has he been in this team's kind of renaissance, if you want to call it that, since the last World Cup? Um, I, th I think he has had a, quite a bit to do with it. He, well, you, you could probably say about world cricket as opposed to just directed me, and I obviously know we're, we're close mates, and he's taught me a lot about leadership. Um, and. I think in 2015, the way that New Zealand played, very similar to the way that they're playing at the moment, they, they proved to, to absolutely everybody that you can perform at the highest level and, and get to the top uh, by being yourselves and not trying to be somebody else or a different team or be somebody that is a bit of a novelty for everybody else. So that's, that's quite cool. I haven't allowed myself to think about lifting the trophy. Uh, cricket and, and, and sport in particular is very fickle. If you ever get ahead of it, it always seems to bite you in the backside. So, see, so yeah, I haven't done that. And, and f for us to win it, I think, around the country, it, it would be awesome. Great for the game. I think uh, quite iconic in, in certainly uh, young kids' memory, particularly if they're watching it at home. Um, and we managed to lift the trophy, it would be, it'd be 